uh, digging through my pile of shame, I've dug out the Shadespire Chosen Axes. And I've done this not to use them for Shadespire, which is now Warhammer Underworlds, uh, but to use them for Warhammer Skirmish. So that's the new AOS variant where you're using 250 point forces. So these four guys are a hero and three uh, dudes for 140 points. This plus, say, the Shadespire Stormcast Eternal set takes you to 240, 250-ish and gives you everything you need to play a game. You can play it with just 150 points and the campaign does talk about doing so. I'll be able to do full games just having these guys assembled and painted. So I'm going to take you through the build of them. I'm going to separate everything from the sprue using these clippers, clean the mould lines off with this knife and come back to you ready to assemble it with the plastic cement. So I've cleaned all the pieces but what I've also done is I've taken a knife and I've thinned down these pegs. A lot of people have trouble putting together the easy build figures because of the pegs. So I've slimmed them down and as you can see they go to go on quite easily now. So let's start with dry fitting and then putting together these figures. I've got Tamiya cement for the plastic. So a little brush around all the pieces that will join together. Line up the hole and push it in quite hard. So doing so leaves a very small join there and nothing else. So we then want to test fit that and you can see where it all goes together. So then again bit of glue Slide him in. Goes together pretty perfectly. And that's one done. Quick test fit of that. That goes together pretty perfectly. Then find the hole, pop him in. Work out how that's going to go. In. Again, there's no foot on that base, so I can fit that together later. But that guy's built. First things first, push that into that fit together as well as possible, 
glue around there. And we'll need a little bit on the inside of this beard. There we go. And then he'll pop into there and we may as well because the feet are on the base glue him into place so that's the third figure done finally the hero so we've got groin cloth here but this headpiece as well so we can't really leave this separate so headpiece is going to go on first and get a good amount of glue around the groin piece, glue around this beard piece, push that in, test fit the feet, Is it worth trying to do the feet separately to let you paint the skull? Quite possibly yes. I may end up painting the skull and the base and gloss varnishing it and then doing the body. So that's how quickly, once you've done the prep, you can put these guys together. So review the kit. It's much better than the figures uh, that you've already seen for the Fire Slayers, basically. Much more dynamic, much better posed, better sculpted, but also less pieces. I think it's safe to say these I wouldn't mind painting up and putting down on the gaming table, whereas there's some stuff in the Fire Slayer range that I just don't like particularly. So, if you can get these and you're thinking of doing AOS Skirmish or Shadespire, they're a nice set of models to put together and paint up. I would warrant. I am going to paint one of these up, hopefully for the channel, um, but they're going to be done for AOS Skirmish. So I've got a little warband ready to use to play some games before it becomes a big product later this year. So. If you've liked this video, hit like and subscribe. If you want to chat, leave a comment below. But otherwise, good gaming.